Okay guys, this is gonna be all about the cane toad or bufo toad. Bufo marinus is its scientific name. It is kind of to let you know what can be harmful to your pets. Outdoor cats, dogs, if not supervised, they can get into it. They can get a cane toad and uh, die as a result. All these animals can die. Any of your animals can die as a, res as a result of uh, cane toad ingestion or just ingestion of the poison from the cane toad. The cane toad is an invasive species. It's very large. It can get like that. What it does is on the top of its, uh, on two sides of its back, so basically like if a, a frog had shoulders, um, right behind its head, there is these two glands, all right? And these, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you a video of a cane toad. Um, when, you, when you squeeze the glands, white poison comes out. So when they're threatened or they're bit by an animal, such maybe as your pet or even just a wild animal, if they're out in the wild, they, they, they secrete this poison, which is very harmful to um, animals. Could result in the death or serious injury to your animal. A lot of people don't really know about the cane toad. That's why I'm here to make this video. As a pet owner myself, what happened was uh, my dog Kobe, who is the uh, dog in the laser vi video, um, got a hold of a cane toad. He started slobbering at the mouth. Uh, he started having seizures. Um, and he loves to eat. Uh, you put any food in front of him, he won't touch it. He won't do anything. He, uh, he would fall down. You'd get him up. He'd just fall straight down. More seizures. My mom is a vet. Um, she really didn't give him much of a chance to, to live, but he made it through, but it was really scary. Um, I had my other dog get into it before anything bad happened to her. She just started foaming at the mouth, and that's that's a sign that uh, I got into a bufo toad, cane toad, also known as bufo toad because of the scientific name, bufo marinus. They're also called the marine toads in other regions. Uh, plenty of people's dogs um, have died as, as a result of Bufo toad ingestion or just getting a hold of the poison from the Bufo toad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys outside at a night. At night, I'm going to show you the cane toad. If you live around a kind of wet area, be really be on the lookout. They're called marine toad for a reason. I have a creek behind my house and we have tons of, of cane toads. Let's go. Okay, guys, so here he is. This is the cane toad. This is the poisonous species of toad that could very well kill your animal. This is only a baby. Here, get a closer view. This is a baby cane toad. And if you'll notice, the little ridge he has right here, right there, that little ridge, that's where the poison comes out. This is a little guy. Um, they get way bigger than this, so he's small, he doesn't have a ton of poison, but these can still be deadly to your animals, uh, dogs, cats, snakes, anything, alright? Alright, so th this is what I'm talking about, alright? Back there is a creek, and they breed at the creeks. So when you when you first start holding them, they're not good. they don't squeeze out poison, they just take a nice piss on you. So, you know, if that doesn't draw you away, whatever. I, what I do is I get paper towels, I grab them. Paper towels absorbs, absorbs the pee. And so then I can handle these little cane toads. Invasive species, very deadly and poisonous. This is not an animal you want around your animals. So I'm not gonna squeeze the poison out of this little guy. He's really small, I really don't wanna squeeze him and hurt him at all. He isn't do doing me no harm. He isn't even squeezing out his poison, which is very good. Good cane toad. Make sure you know what these look like. They give you a nice, clear view. I honestly hope you enjoyed this video and you got a lot out of it and that you now know what to look for and that you can keep your pets safer and better and healthier. Amen.